For the successful use of the airway rifle as a standalone device, it is essential to learn the correct method of doing a tongue chin lift. The practitioner must insert their thumb deeply into the oropharynx and grasp the tongue with his thumb and his chin with his fingers. He will then lift the tongue and chin upwards. This maneuver lifts the epiglottis from the posterior oropharynx, allowing visualization of the larynx and vocal cords. The use of a gauze 4x4 may be helpful in allowing the practitioner to grasp the tongue when doing this maneuver. I'm going to demonstrate the importance of a proper tongue chin lift. In this view, we're visualizing the epiglottis up against the posterior oropharynx, virtually obliterating the view of the vocal cords. The same area with a proper chin lift opens the area directly to be visualized and the vocal cords pop into view. Again, no chin lift, only visualizing the posterior oropharynx and the epiglottis with a chin lift, good visualization of the vocal cords, the retinoid cartilages, and you're able to intubate. Incorrect technique, inserting the scope too deep and having a completely whited out or pink screen. If you see this, you need to back, back up, clean the tip of the scope, do a proper tongue chin lift, identify structures, and advance to the vocal cords.